So this case is a 62-year-old male smoker um, who presented with a, a two-month history of respiratory symptoms. Uh, he has a 30-pack year smoking history. A relevant social history is that uh, he has his daughter's wedding in about 11 months. It's very important to him. He seeks medical attention, is found to have some wheezing in the lower lobe, uh, has a CT scan that shows a 6.1 centimeter right lower lobe lung mass and uh, enlarged hilar and intra uh, pulmonary lymph nodes. The PET scan shows hypermetabolic activity at those areas, but no distant hypermetabolic uptake. Uh, and uh, an MRI of the brain that's contrast enhanced showed no brain metastases. Pulmonary function uh, is acceptable with a DLCO of 55%. This patient then underwent uh, bronchoscopy with biopsies of the right lower lobe lung mass uh, and the hilar node, which revealed a squamous non-small cell lung cancer. Our final stage here is a T3N1 M0 stage 3A squamous non-small cell lung cancer, and he was deemed to be unresectable um, based on uh, anatomic location. Because this patient was unresectable, uh, but had a good performance status with the ECOG PS of one, he was offered definitive therapy with concurrent chemoradiation he received concurrent cisplatin and etoposide using the SWOG 50-50 regimen. Uh, after completion of chemoradiation, he then received consolidation durvalimab at 10 mg per kg every two weeks. A CT scan at two months uh, did show a good response to therapy. So the management for a stage three non-small cell lung cancer, as in this case, is appropriate. For an unresectable non-small cell lung cancer, our current standard of care is definitive concurrent chemoradiation uh, and chemotherapy alone radiation alone, immunotherapy alone, really would be considered substandard treatment. Definitive concurrent chemoradiation offers the chance at long-term survival, offers the chance at cure. Uh, and pursued in this manner, uh, I think this gives the patient the best possible outcome. Despite the fact that this is a potentially curable cancer, the prognosis is not quite as good as we'd like. For an unresectable non-small cell lung cancer receiving concurrent chemoradiation, we would expect five-year survival rates, approximating cure rates, of about 30%. If we look at more recent data, uh, RTOG 0617, this is a randomized trial that looked at 60 gray versus 74 gray, the higher doses of radiation uh, not providing better outcomes, but if we look at the control arm of 60 gray, we see a five-year survival rate of about 32%, which would mean that maybe one in three patients would potentially be cured with this treatment, uh, but unfortunately the vast majority of patients not achieving that, that long-term survival. Those numbers hopefully will be rays will be buoyed uh, by the addition of Dervalimab, which we know does improve survival. We don't yet have long-term uh, outcomes from that strategy yet.